just want to draw out a quick tutorial on to help anybody that has availability to use Microsoft Publisher if they want to do their notes and do their slideshows and do their line to show how to do it. The difference with Publisher from Word is Word is a word processing program and the whole blank page you can just type into. With Publisher, you can't do that. You need actually to add a box. Um, there are many tools and many boxes that you can add for different purposes. But for the simple purpose of this, you would just need a text box. And to do that, you would start with a blank page. I'm not starting with a blank page. I'm showing something that is already done. And then we'll show how to build it as well. So you'd start generally with a blank page or a new document in Microsoft Publisher. You can come up and you can see all your different tools that you have available. Uh, the layout may look different depending on your version of Publisher or how it might have set up during install or unless you have made some changes to it. Um, but here on the left hand side, I have several different options to pull from. One is got the text box here, as you can see. All you do is click on the text box itself, come down here and put your mouse it where you want it, and hold your left mouse button down, draw your box, and now you have a box. So wonder why you can't see the box that is there. There is a tool up here when you go up under view and you can go down to boundaries and guides and click on that, it'll show all the boundaries. So we would put our box down here. Now we have a text box. We can do anything we want inside that box with text. You can type your notes, copy and paste your notes in. You can format your notes by changing, going up to the toolbar, you can change your, your fonts, you can change the size of your fonts, um, you can make it bold, italics, underline, so many tools again up here. You can also, if you choose, put a border around your box by just going to the lines right here and just clicking on whatever border you want. Uh, there are other choices you can explore, but that's just a quick border. So now um, you have your box and you can be typing your notes in. But another thing that I find easy when drawing out the line is to have a box to actually put all of that in. So I'll kind of demonstrate that here where we have, um, I have a box outside, but inside you can see with the boundaries showing, you can see that I have many other boxes inside. Each one serves its different purpose to keep everything in line. There may be other ways that, that people can do this, but this helps me to keep it organized um, and in line in the proper place. You'll see this little icon here. It looks like two boxes, one on top of another. That groups the entire thing as one piece. So you can move it around as one piece. When you click on this, it'll ungroup it. And now you can take your box away and all your items in the box stay the same. So the purpose of the box helps when you're going to have text. If you happen to put your line drawing along the text, it will all run together. But by having a box around it, the text from your notes would not interfere with the lines and the boxes that you have to label your lines. So to start then with drawing out the lines, go up here to back on the left hand side again. Again, it may be on the top, it depends on your publisher, but look for the one with the line here. And you can just draw, just click on the line, hold your left mouse button, and draw your line out. So there you have your first baseline. You can also take and go up to the line icons up here, and you can change and make that line thicker if you want. You can make it, uh, change it to where it has individual lines. You can change it to where it's dashed, several different options there. Um, but for right now, we'll just change it to just a regular line. Or we might start over with that one because we have a line there that doesn't belong. So, so anyway, so here is your line that you want to draw. Now to get the ones that go vertical, you just do the same thing. You're just going to draw another one right there vertical. You can take your line again and draw another one horizontal. So there you have the simple layout of just putting a, a line on your line. Now to get a box there, again, you're just going to go to your text box. So you're going to draw a text box. 
and then you're just going to type into it. You can change your fonts. Um, I tend to go with Arial Narrow and size 12 whenever I can. Um, some of the lines that are more complicated, sometimes I have to shrink things down a little bit. But another simple tool, once you have one big line and you have your box set and formatted, say you want to change it to where you do want it to be a different font style, you make your change. You have one box be what you want it to be. And then you take your mouse, hold your left mouse button down, and drag across the box, the horizontal and the vertical line. And now you have all of them together. They are not yet grouped. When you click the two um, boxes here, it will group it. Now you can move it as one entity instead of having to break apart when you try to move it around. But what I do to get multiple ones on there is you just click anywhere inside this, what you have, your box here, right mouse click, click copy, and click paste. Then you can place that on the line. You can click and put as many as you want by right mouse clicking and then hit paste. Then all you need to do is go back and change one, change them to what you want so that each one is reflecting what you what you want them to say. So for the underneath boxes, it's the same thing. You just go to your text box, draw another text box, format it if you want to. Um, it'll, it'll do a default. If you format it however you want, whatever font, whatever size, you want it bold or italics or underline, you can do that. Uh, should you be doing a list of things where you want to do um, bullets you can just type type your your list in that you want highlight your list and go up to the bullet tool and there's your bullets you can also select what bullets you want in another we might go through that in another tutorial you can also choose to number them one two three and it's as easy as that so for now i hope that's helpful for some of you trying to do your notes um, what I do is put all my notes in after transcribing them. If you've watched the Google Docs video that Sister Adriana put up, um, you have your notes transcribed. Publisher doesn't work like Microsoft Word. I will generally take, depending on how long a paragraph is, two, three, or four paragraphs and put it on, in a box on one page. So I would draw my box and I would type all my notes or copy and paste all my notes in here. Then what I can do is group this whole thing. Once it's all done, I'll cut it and I want to put it on top of my text box. And I'll put some text in there just to show what I mean here. Um, I'm going to take it from a previous study. I just copied it, highlighted it, copied it, and then I'm going to paste it in. And you can see how it wraps around the box. And the difference being, if we did not have this box here, we'll show you the benefit of having the box here. So it makes sense to have the box if you can see that then. And that just keeps it all nice and tidy together. So I hope that's helpful. Um, one more thing. Uh, once I have all my notes prepared, and everybody can do it differently, but what helps me when I go to put them into uh, PowerPoint is just take it section by section and then take, um, copy, my, copy my text into a PowerPoint slide and then I'll grab the board work image, the lines that I want to put on that same slide. There are those that know how to work in PowerPoint to actually do the lines and I'm sure you can do it. I just like this way best because I'm able to have the files um, almost to where if I want to put them in a booklet, I can. And you can print up in a booklet style if you want your PowerPoint slides, and you can even convert them to a PDF file. But this makes them a little more um, concise when you're trying to put them together, and then the PowerPoint is separate. But once you have your notes all built up, one of these videos is taking maybe eight to 10 pages, and then that might turn into about 15 to 20 slides. 
just take that little bit, copy and paste it in each time and put it into your PowerPoint slide. There are a lot of things that you can do after that. So anyways, I hope that you have found this tutorial um, helpful and we hope to be putting out more. Thank you. Thank you.